Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I'm going to share with you my latest uh, project which is Sparrow Hill and um, this is a folio that I created and that's a little bit different for me. So um, anyways, I had a lot of fun doing this. I did use um, Hobby Lobby 110 pound cardstock for the folio itself. This is some uh, twine that I had in my stash. This is Fussy Cut from um, the collection pack. So there's a, a, just a ton of um, things that you can fussy cut to use as elements throughout your album. I fussy cut these flowers. I kept everything relatively flat because it's a folio and it's kind of small and you want to be able to just, you know, take it on the go. Um, because this could be like even a little planner book if you wanted. So it opens, it's uh, got some magnet closures right here and here. So I've got two of them. It opens and then it opens again. So on each side, I've got four by six uh, card that opens. I fussy cut these elements from um, the A4 pack that um, is a companion pack that comes with this. This pocket has a five by seven photo insert with um, designer card stock on both sides. I've got the same thing over here. I just think this is really cute. This is a project you can sit down, start to finish um, in an hour, in a couple of hours actually, depending on how much embellishing you do. This is fussy cut from the A4 pack. Um, this is from the collection pack. And this is a five by seven photo mat that you have on both sides here. Plus this is open so that you can tuck something in here um, or put a, you know, um, uh, a three by five photo here and still have a nice mat all the way around it. So that's, um, that's my little folio. I think it's pretty darn cute. Um, there's also some space for uh, photos here as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now I used a um, collection pack, a pattern pack, and the A4. And it turns out that is enough paper really to do two of these projects and probably have some leftover for cards, but not enough to do a third um, folio. So you'll have plenty of paper to do a couple of these if you want. They would look very different because you only get one of each print. But um, yeah, you'd definitely be able to do two. And depending on what Julie's got queued up for me next, I may or may not be able to do a second one. I'm probably going to be asked to move on to the next paper collection, but you could definitely get two out of uh, two designer packs worth um, out of this. And it took um, without uh, cardstock backing my fussy cuts, it took um, three eight and a half by 11, 110 pound cardstock um, cardstock to build it. So the folio is pretty straightforward. I do recommend the 110 pound because um, it's so rigid and there's no chipboard in this project. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. I'll talk to you guys soon.